In Iran, tens of thousands have taken to the streets in a massive countrywide uprising. Dozens have been killed and hundreds arrested. Most demonstrations in Iran historically have started in the capital, organized by educated, upper middle class, and politically active citizens. The protests then spread outward from there. But the most recent demonstrations started in the east of the country, far from Tehran. They then spread to the rest of the country within days. And they were started by working middle class Iranians without a leader or a set agenda. And the match that lit this fire was something that may surprise you, the price of eggs. Iran was recently hit with an outbreak of the bird flu, which required them to kill off some 17 million chickens. This shortage caused egg prices to nearly double. Egg prices helped spark the uprising, but what Iranians are really protesting here is a series of broken promises by their president, Hassan Rouhani. When Rouhani came into the presidency in 2013, he pledged to revitalize the economy. He took the first steps towards doing this in July 2015, when Iran reached a deal to significantly curb its nuclear program. In exchange, the West lifted international economic sanctions that had hampered Iran's economy for decades. For a lot of Iranians, this symbolized that Iran was opening up to the world, and it was a reason to celebrate. So by the end of Rouhani's first term, he had achieved some economic success. His policies had brought down the inflation rate and boosted economic growth, but unemployment and inequality remained high, and foreign investment still remained low. For the working poor, Rouhani's policies made little difference. So when Rouhani was back up for election in May 2017, he vowed to voters that he would make tangible changes to the economy within the first hundred days of his new term. He won the election, but the first hundred days came and went with no real tangible economic results. I, as an Iranian, am frustrated that government has so many unkept promises to tackle so many problems like unemployment, recession, inflation, and social freedom. Then, in December, Rouhani published his proposal for his 2018 budget. The proposal included plans to give billions of dollars to organizations that make up the hardline religious establishment in Iran. The budget also proposed cutting cash subsidies to millions of citizens, raising the fuel prices, and privatizing public schools. Paired with the rising prices of eggs and other food staples, people around the country, especially the poor and working class, felt betrayed. Protests erupted, quickly turning violent. These protesters have no leader, no set agenda. They're not driven by political organizers in the capital, but by poorer citizens in villages and rural towns. Iran has a history of massive street protests transforming its society. In fact, the current Islamic Republic of Iran was born by street protests just like this. These demonstrations began because of the slow economy and the price of eggs. But they quickly have morphed into calls for reform and revolution. <laughs>